Blessed day, viewers and subscribers. Welcome to the boss. Happy Sabbath. Happy birthday to anybody who celebrate a birthday. Welcome to the journey. Welcome to the boss with another vlog. And today we are going to start off with this guy. Pregnant woman killed five days before due date. Can you imagine that, guys? Five days before due date, viewers and subscribers. Boy, when I see the article, I say I have to talk about, about this. I want to know about the double murder in a port and two in a Portland side, guys. You understand? Two of them get dirt, one innocent, and she was the target, guys. And two L in the connection, guys. So police, world two of the people them who allegedly them say are them do it, guys. I may mean, tell you, show me a company, I tell you who you are. It's also reported that it is them from a love triangle and scamming activities. I tell you about the scamming and the easy money, you know. Me tell you about the road we want to choose, you know. Sometime it come back, come on to know when on the least expected, guys. Drive on the right path, step on the right road, do the good thing. Easy come, easy go. But in this case, she lose her life and also a unborn P A P Y. May her soul R I P and other soigo. Another day, another drama. We used to it. Pain and sorrow. Alright, guys. So, right now, I'm on this church. Which part me the writer? So, you know, I'll know this this easy. We don't sell some credit to that man. In but we'll move on to the next story, guys. Hey, miss. You know, so I'm there and I look into it, right? And I say, one time one lady said to me, say, You know, say you have some family member out there, then what's that? Obia? And I never understand, truly understand what she mean, right? But like me cannot get a, a, a understanding uh, or a concept of what she's saying. Uh, because you have some family member out there, right? Them don't want to see you the good. Them not happy for you. So you see the moment you try to elevate yourself, the moment you try to level up, them just are tear you down. And the worst part is because you have to see them every Jesus day. But guess what? No? You see, every time they dash up after you, you just get up and you just pray for your life. Pray for your life and pray for your pity life. Claim your life. Claim your life because that's one time they don't want to see you better yourself. They're going to try everything to take you down. Imagine a family. Family should be the one for you. Look out for you. Help you and all kind of something. Help you up, not help you down. But family these days, they don't want to start anything else. Family these days, that's the only thing they, the word is family because they don't have nothing else behind it. It's just a word alone to symbolize so now family but nothing else to behind it. You have your friends them out of road and your friends them you can't call for me, you can't call for a family member for do nothing at all for you. Because them bad men. They don't want to see you try. Imagine when you're young, you're young and you're ambitious and you try to go out there and instead of them help you, instead of them encourage you or you know, them try to tear you down. But you see, I always say, God no give a man more than he can bear, and God no sleep. So you see, anything them a dish out, give you. Now worry yourself, because the same dish them a dish out, give you the same dish. Just wait and see if dish, the same dish, and I go serve to them too, and it will serve worse too. The first one of the bad mind was a family member. The second person was a close friend. You see, sometime in life, guys, strangers deal with you better than oh family and so-called friends deal with you so make this be a warning you know this at the morning yeah big up on yourself i'm gonna leave you know, with a powerful message from a lady and soon in the next video i'm out this morning i wanted to talk to you about three ways people disrespect you in the workplace but i may not get a chance to do that today but i just want to talk to somebody who is listening today too many of you are allowing people to disrespect you in the workplace and listen to my words carefully too many of you are allowing people to disrespect you in the workplace and they and allow them to get away with it yes people can try and disrespect you but stand up for your right it doesn't matter if it's the supervisor it doesn't matter if it's the manager it doesn't matter if it's the owner of the facility. In fact, all those three should have known better. So it's even more crucial or critical that you do not allow people to disrespect you and get away. I don't know if I've told you before. I've worked in several different workplaces, right? I've worked in marketing. 
and sales. I've worked in banking. I've worked in education. I've worked in law and I've seen it all across the spectrum. Let me give you an example. I used to work at this place and this man, you know what they called him? This manager, they call him grown God. Meaning, meaning we have God in the sky and because this man was so mighty and powerful, they call him grown God. And let me tell you something, when that man was coming in, big man, small man, brown man, black man running, and guess who wasn't running? Me, me not running. And I remember sometimes the persons would, and he would take it for an habit. And that is why, just to go back to my point, if you allow them once, they will continue. And I remember sometimes he would come and the men would be having their lunches. And he was like, hey, hey. And people just come up their lunch. And he came to me and I'm, I'm having my lunch. And I would say, I'm, I'm having my lunch. I'm having my lunch. Me not moving. I'm entitled to a lunch period. I'm not moving. And when I am through with my lunch, then I'll go to you. It's only one God I know. And it's a God I'm up above. I'm watching the time. So stop allowing persons to disrespect you. And if you want a strategy and how an effective strategy to how to dismiss and eliminate disrespect in the workplace, let me know and I'll tell you, I'll share it with you. Don't allow people who can't even manage their homes to treat you a certain way and to talk to you a certain way. And you allow it and you know people say, oh, oh this and that and they laugh and they have a merry good time. It's time you stop. You understand? I always say I would rather lose a job than to lose myself at a job. Nobody is more than me. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not more than anybody either. You understand what I'm saying? My father did not raise me anyway. And some people, they believe, oh, because they have PhD behind their name, they can talk to you anyway. They can't talk to me anyway. I don't care who it is. I tell you that I've been there before with many people who, are, who have tried it and not once have they ever succeeded. You understand? Before, before, and if I see it try to continue, I don't have any problem resigning and leave their job. I don't care about the money. God is my father. He owns a cattle up on a thousand hills. No, I want to tell, I want to talk plain. Somebody said talk plain. But I want to be respectful. No, I know. No woman or no man, I'm not going to allow you to disrespect me. And you need to stop allowing persons to talk to you anyway and to disrespect you. It's high time you take full responsibility for your own well-being. Make sure when you go on your bed at night, you can lie down and say, you know, something happened today, but I stood up for myself. You know what, you know what joy that gives you? Somebody tried to step into my boundary. But I stood up for myself. And even when it's not all that you would have, at least there are, there's an indication to your brain to say, no man, I'm not taking this. Stand up for yourself. And the other thing I want to tell you now is to don't wait on any manager <laughs> to stand up for you. Don't wait on any supervisor to stand up for you. You have the right to stand up for yourself. I wish I could tell you some things. But as we go along, I'll share some more with you. Have a blessed day. Bye.